Greetings everyone and welcome back to Bannerlord. Last time we had uh, quite an unfortunate ending. Our wife, Svana, got killed in battle. And uh, I was thinking about uh, what to do about it. And uh, let's, uh, as a start, let's start moving out of Landia since I'm currently holding a lot of troops that are wounded. They'll need some time to recover. Uh, but anyway, I decided Instead of uh, just, uh, you know, looking for another wife and uh, doing all that. Uh, instead of that, we can uh, use this uh, event and turn it into a bit of a story about our uh, character over here. You know, his wife got killed by the Vlandians, so now he has a motivation to destroy the entirety of Vlandia. And, uh, you know, maybe settle a new kingdom there, because why not? So yeah, I decided instead of just uh, looking for another wife, uh, I will use this as a pretext to attack uh, Vlandia. So let's uh, try and not get killed though. There we go, he seems to be ignoring me. Uh, but yeah, for now I need to lick my wounds, get some more troops under my command. Maybe level up uh, a bit more smithing. And uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be our story from now on. We are out for revenge, we want to destroy the entirety of Landia and all that, so yeah, I think I think it will turn out well. We'll see what we do with it after we found the kingdom. I... Well, what is the right word? I'm not really sure. But anyway, after we get our kingdom together, we'll see what we can do with this story, but uh, for now... Let's get back to a little bit of smithing uh, and uh, basic, well, recovery of my troops and stuff. Uh, which probably, now that I think about it, is better than off camera. So, when I'm done uh, with all of that, I'll see you again. Well, looks like uh, I've had enough time smithing for now. My village is getting raided, so let's go and respond to that as quickly as possible. Uh, on the way there, if I can find some more archers. That will be good, because uh, I'm running a bit low on range. I have a ton of cavalry, so I don't want any more of those. Uh, but I mostly want to fill up the rest of my army with uh, range troops. Looks like they're back at it again, uh, trying to take this castle over. For some reason, they don't want mine. So, hey, I'm not complaining, but, uh, you know, I don't think we can help defend this without a proper army on our side. Get all these guys. And let's check up on our village. I doubt it's uh, someone with a very large army raiding it, so... Should be a good opportunity to get some XP. Yeah, 127 seems pretty doable. Looks like she has mostly ranged. So yeah, let's... Uh, help the, uh, the village. Let's attack. Now, since uh, this is a village and I have mostly cavalry, uh, they, they have a bit of uh, terrain advantage, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. If I really I'll wanted to, I can uh, probably avoid the village entirely. Oh, this is actually, it's actually an okay map. Alright. It's uh, pretty open. Let's uh, get a bit of a formation going. And uh, let's check out what our enemy is doing. Not sure if uh, she'll charge in. Oh yeah, okay, so... In that case, we'll just wait. Maybe I shouldn't be standing in the line of fire like that. Sounds kind of dumb. Probably move, move you a bit to this side. Move! So... That way they have a clearer vision. Other than that, uh, get shield wall going and uh, respond to this cavalry. Go. No. Probably get one more. There we go. Pretty also build strategy to just send your cavalry in alone. But uh well not my problem. That you're stupid. Okay, but let me not stand in the way of the arrows. Now it looks like they are not charging with the infantry and archers, so. Yeah, I guess I'll have to 
have to do something about this. They are in a better position than me. So let's try and move our guys a bit. Why is this cavalry dude? Soldiers! So maybe move my infantry like there. Something like this. Get my archers on this hill. Get my cavalry back here. Ready to attack. And then I'll just uh, run around with, uh, a quick horse to draw some of the arrows to me. So my guys can uh, get into position more safely. I'm actually hitting those shots, that's uh, pretty nice. Not even trying to aim them, just letting loose some arrows. Who are you and why do you have a horse in the double in uh, infantry formation? Must be one of our generals, I guess. Probably, you know what? I think that's uh, likely a smith, second one. Let's see who else it could be. This is a much better position. And yep, we force them into a charge. Oh, maybe not actually. We're just moving in there. Archers go to the front. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, it's because uh, she has a lot of archers. That's why uh, it's working out for her, this strategy. I can just send them the cavalry now that we have weakened them. And they should be able to take good care of them, even though there is water, which is a natural enemy of any cavalry. I think we should be fine. Good. Let's go for one charge. Finish off any stragglers. Uh, count this village safe. There we go. Very nice. And oh, perfect. On the battle. And the four people that are killed, four of them are archers though. Yeah, I really need to go around and uh, recruit a few archers. Alright, yeah, you're free to go, whatever. Let's see, what kind of troops do you have? I'll take the swordsman. And that's about it, okay. Let's be done with that, uh, get all the loot, and uh, our village is safe. Now they are also looting uh, these ones down there, but that's not my problem, so... I'll just uh, get back to the city. And uh, keep on smithing, leveling that up. But that being said, uh, there is... Oh, I, I did level up, I have a skill point to spend. Also a leadership work, so... 20% less influence needed to call parties to an army, that's really nice. And uh, that's captain, so troops in your formation gave gain 5% more experience from battles. Alternatively, increase morale by 10 during siege, assaults and defense. And increase our party size. Hmm, both of these are pretty good. Hmm, it's it's tough, it's a tough choice. Because whenever we do uh, do make a kingdom, we'll be making a lot of armies, so this this will be useful. That being said, I am generating a ton of influence. I don't think I ha I'll have a problem with that, so let's just get this one for the party size, that's always useful. And I'll spend the point in tactics probably. And I still have some space in that, but maybe bow. You know what? Yeah, let's let's increase my bow abilities. And uh, anyone else? Uh, where are you? Varik, have you leveled up anything? No. How about Ragit Fair here? Uh doesn't look like it. I mean, he's very close to getting another athletics level up, uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, nothing interesting there. So let's uh, go into carbon set this time. I'll go through these lumber villages and uh, stock up on that uh, hardwood. So I can make more charcoal if I need to. And someone is raiding my village again. Well, that's That's just amazing. I believe, yeah, they don't have stamina, so... Never mind that one. Uh, do we have at least a tournament or something? No. I can sell... No, I cannot sell prisoners. Well, I guess I'm back to the village then. 
I forgot to check for fresh recruits here though. So let's do that. And uh, no, no archers. That's a shame. My army cap has uh, gone above uh, 200 though, so that's that's always nice. Okay, they managed to get this castle. They'll probably go for mine next. So, we'll see how I handle that. Uh, no, they're going for this one. To we'll help out because it's uh, getting besieged. Looks like this guy decided to stop raiding my village. Uh, yeah, he'll probably make it out before I can reach him. Let's see how the siege is doing. Uh, what kind of army we have. Okay, so we have 650 people. Not... Uh, probably not gonna be enough for much. Mm. Can't try and get another battle going though. However, by the time I catch up to them, they'll probably be too far away from my army to get them to help out. So you know what? Another thing I can do is just wait until they get enough people to attack my army and then join in sneakily. So hopefully that happens before their army arrives. Doesn't look like it though. Yeah, looks like this is gonna be another uh, bad defeat for Batania. That's a shame. Can't do much about it, so let's just uh, go and uh, recruit some more troops. Because we'll definitely need them with uh, all these casualties. How's the war looking at the moment? Yeah, we're still a bit stronger than them, not by much though. So yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, let's just do some recruiting for now. Some recruiting, some smithing. Hopefully they don't uh, take my castle in the meantime. Uh, but if they do, oh well, what can you do? Varik has gained the skill point in riding. And they're attacking my other caravan. Okay, so I think it's time to stop uh, making caravans at this point. And they just keep getting destroyed, so... I'm losing money on them instead of gaining it, so... Not much point in continuing that uh, endeavor. Let's uh, wait here for some time. And, uh, unless they attack uh, one of my... Thieves, I won't uh, be too worried about doing anything. Looks like the caravan actually survived. Okay, so that's nice. It will last me for a bit more. Let's go into the smithy. Uh, go into the smelting section. Get on Varic. Start smelting all of this loot. As you can see, I have uh, built up quite a supply of uh, different kinds of uh, iron and steel. I don't have the highest end one yet, uh, but uh, very few things melt into it. I most likely have to get uh, this guy, get his smithing ups to 100 so I can craft it. So what I do is I smelt things with Varic and uh, I refine with this guy. And uh, yeah, but right now he basically can't get any more skill uh, because uh, he doesn't have the skill points into it. So you gained a uh, point in medicine, that's, uh, that's very nice, get this one. And uh, you have a skill point, let's do trade, since you're a trader, I'll give you social, to boost trading a bit more. Other than that, uh, Varik is very close to leveling up, and I believe so is this guy, yeah. So if I do a little bit more smithing, I should be able to get these guys leveled up. And uh, after that, it's like we're getting another army going. After that, I will uh, go around and collect some more archers. So I can strike at the Vlandians because it doesn't look like uh, our guys will be able to handle it on their own. They're making some pretty dumb decisions, so I have to help them. Mm. Yeah, let's do something like this. I mean, that being said, to be honest, uh, letting Batania get uh, beat up a little is not too terrible for my future plans. Because if I have a, a very large empire next to me, which uh, I've turned Batania into, uh, well, it will be a bit difficult to defend from them, but I'm not uh, going to take a castle right next to them, so I hope they won't be causing me too much trouble. And I suspect that once I leave the kingdom, it will slowly start to shrink down a bit. 
Yeah, we're getting some of the baseline recruits. I was hoping for some upgraded ones, but I'll take what I can get. And let's check this one out. The archers. Maybe over here. Yeah, we keep losing battles, so that's uh, that's a shame. I just hope they don't uh, decide to make peace with some uh, tribute that I have to contribute to. Because I don't like losing money. So looks like their army is finally split. Will this one be attacking the town? Oh, it's going for something else. Oh, it's going for this castle over here. I mean, alright, I guess. We'll probably try and do something about that though. If I can reach the castle before them. Let's see. Ah, oh, great. My settlement is under. Well, so much for that. I gotta go protect my village. Let's check out uh, the villages on the way. Maybe I get some archers. I mean, I have built up a decent amount of them. Maybe I should uh, start recruiting some infantry. Caravan of Nogant is attacked by desert bandits. Looks like my brother is getting attacked this time. And... Uh, okay. Looks like he won. At least I assume he did. We're getting some more armies formed. It's uh, cool and all, but let's make sure this guy doesn't ruin my income from this village. So you, my friend, uh, are going to get smacked. And uh, yeah. Let's just take care of him real quick. Oh, so now we are on the other side. I see. Do something like this. If he does uh, charge Soldier, into me, a pretty free battle, honestly. I don't expect to lose anyone. That being said, probably one play infantry move. here. Move. And the uh, archers on this uh, hill, so they can have better vision range. Okay, he probably won't charge into me. Maybe he will. My archers are firing at something. I really see what though. I will see. Uh, wait for a second. And yeah, they are actually getting kills, so. We need to mess with it too much. Let's go and, uh, and take a few shots by ourselves. Since I got that uh, bow attribute point, I can uh, level up bow a bit more. Maybe I can take a few shots. Hopefully, land some of them. Looks like he's attacking with the cavalry, maybe. Try and bait them on this bridge. The choke point. Actually attacking through the water. Okay. Respect that. And now they're going back. Yeah, that's uh, not the greatest strategy there. You're gonna lose your lot of people. Not sure. Oh, the, yeah, that's... Uh... That's Varik's wife. I was about to say, I don't remember having a companion that's called like that. That's Varik's wife, so she's getting attacked. It's time to speed this up a bit by... So, oh, come on, how did that miss? Very quickly. These guys keep dodging. Okay, but why are you not sending your entire army though? Let's, uh, let's get this going a bit more quickly. I know you still have cavalry active. But we should reinforce them with infantry. If they teach you nothing. Yeah, I can't believe I keep missing these shots. Oh, there we go. He is actually sending them. Just didn't see them from the darkness. So how I managed to hit force. Okay, the Arkhan is getting... Uh, Getting a lot of uh, level ups. Maybe I just go behind them. Three shots, ignore the shields. And looks like we already have some people losing morale. Oh no, that's just his. Oh, Bowman. And let's send in the cavalry to swipe uh, the ones remaining. Sweet, actually, that's why. I 
didn't realize whenever uh, how quickly I ran out of barrels. I must have taken a lot of shots. My friend just stopped. Oh, that was actually a leader. I believe that's everyone. So we save our village once again. And I lost no one, so that's great. And uh, you're free to go. I guess... No, not really. I don't see anyone that's uh, very recruitable. Let's get the loot. Actually, let me check. I believe I had some upgrades to take care of. Oh, wow, yeah, I do. Quite a few of them. So, let's upgrade everything. All of these uh, low-level recruits. Get them... Uh, get them going. I also have some prisoners to recruit, so let's get the swordsmen, get the sergeants, since I'm in need of uh, infantry. Let's check out my village for any... I mean, they have very nice cavalry, but that's not really what I need at the moment. Where are you? He's just patrolling, he's not trading, so that's good. Let's head to the castle and check out uh, the situation with the siege. Full level that someone did. The are behind it. Athletics. So, get you more hit points. You can survive more. And Nogan got skill in medicine. Do the same thing. Hopefully, no one raids me this time so I can actually go and help out the army. That being said, this guy is just asking for it. However, I will wait a bit. Uh, before attacking him, that way he's out of the village battle terrain. And I what can take want, care Strange? of him more quickly. Oh, so, etc, etc, surrender or die. Let's take care of this guy. Right, kinda like... Uh, that's a really nice map, nice and open. Soldiers! It's like this, Cordon, not really sure which one. Uh, but it's looking very, very very atmospheric, I like it. Very pleasant. Man, imagine if... Uh, imagine if you could uh, go on a field like this. And just uh, have it all to yourself. Like... Uh, if you're in a wild field, you might think, uh, you know, maybe there's a place like this. Somewhere in the world, but... Uh, that, Keeping it like this would take a fucking ton of maintenance. Just uh, getting rid of all this grass and stuff. Keeping it uh, nice and low. That's uh, that's one thing uh, you you really don't uh, consider. Like golf courses and stuff like that. They actually take a lot of work to maintain all of that grass. I mean at least the natural ones. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I'm going on a run. Let's... Uh, I guess he is not coming to me, so good thing I send my troops forward. One uh, disadvantage of this map is that we are very far away, so it will take some time to reach him. Uh, should be a pretty easy battle though. I guess he does have quite a bit of cavalry now that I observe his army. I don't think that will be too much of a problem though. I'm not sure what exactly he's doing with them, but. Oh wow, this guy is actually faster than me, really. Thought my horse was pretty fast. I think actually my horse has a very large top speed, but it doesn't accelerate as fast. You're done. Oh, he actually survived, really. Oh, well, now you're done. And our smith gained the level, so that's pretty nice. Be able to keep uh, leveling up and splitting in that case. You see mostly cavalry. I don't see much in the way of him. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, now that my cavalry has arrived, it should be pretty easy. Let's try a couch lance. I haven't done that in a while. And these guys, maybe. Oh. Yeah, yeah slow down quite a bit. 
Oh wait, pretty sure I got it once. You guys are getting a bit stuck in the infantry. Or my own infantry is coming, so. Oh, something hit me really. Let's not do that again. I'm gonna get myself killed again. And uh, yeah, another thing about uh, Svano dying is at least we have an heir, so. I mean, he's still way too young to inherit anything. I guess I just have to be careful about, about not dying, so yeah, that, that's the thing. Before I had the, the option if my character ever got permanently killed, I could play as Svana maybe. Uh, but that's no longer an option, so I have to be careful about dying. So we lost one infantry and two cavalry, okay. That's acceptable, I'd say. All 12, you're free to go. And uh, looks like looks like we freed one of our guys, and we have a bunch of troops to recruit. So let's get the archer. And I think that's the only one I like. So I can get the swordsman as a prisoner. That's about it. Get all the loot. Visual. Let's head to this castle. How so things are going? Oh, they're actually sieging another castle down there. Interesting. I mean, this castle doesn't have that many defenders, so... Probably won't be able to do much about it. So I'll just leave it. Go down to the other one. Oh, looks like we are sieging this one now. So many sieges are happening, no one defending anything. I'll go check what the situation is down at this one. Uh, where did it go? It's still a bit more down. Uh, let's get an upgrade going. Okay, I'm out of swordsmen actually. I upgraded everyone to sergeants. So let's get uh, let's get you. I noticed uh, that the recording was getting uh, quite quite long. So this battle that's about to happen will be in the next episode. For now. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.